everybody, Chelsea and Haley here with John Mixon, a wellness coach in Omaha, Nebraska. We're here in his wellness studio and really excited to learn about what John does and why he's passionate about it. Um, John, I don't think maybe a lot of people aren't even aware of what a wellness coach is or does, so you could talk about maybe what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'd be happy to. Um, <clears throat> a, life, a life coach is really what I, what I started off to be. And a life coach, it's, it's kind of a new, a new profession, actually. What a life coach is, is it's uh, someone that's trained to assist people to get clear on their dreams and give them tools to reach their dreams. So it's, a, it's, it's very exciting work. Um, along the way, um, I ended up, I'm very interested in food and wellness, so I became, I come up with a specialty. I'm a life coach and I specialize in health and wellness. Ended up with a uh, stage four prostate cancer diagnosis. And uh, stage four is uh, not your happiest diagnosis, it's end stage cancer. So I was told that um, medically there was very, very, my, not very many options available to me. And that probably, if I was lucky, I had two or three years to live. Um, I, I became very serious about health and wellness after the diagnosis in uh, June of 2000. June of 2000. So the first thing that I did was I ended up uh, at uh, the Cush Institute in, in uh, Massachusetts studying macrobiotics. I lived there and studied there for three months, three okay. and a half months. Could you tell us just just a little bit about what macrobiotics? I'm sure a lot of that might be a little bit more of a kind of an unfamiliar word to sure. a lot of our viewers. Absolutely. So, uh, macrobiotics means big life. Literally means big life, and uh, uh, mainly what it is it, is it's Oriental. It's, uh, it, it was brought to the United States by uh, the Japanese, uh, most notably Michio Kushi, and macrobiotics is. Uh, to, to keep it simple, mm -hmm. it's essentially just a whole foods diet. Okay. They have a particular regimen to it, and I'll, I'll just hit on some of the highlights. Uh, in macrobiotics, you eat all cooked foods. Virtually no raw foods are eaten in a macrobiotic diet. Um, you eat uh, predominantly, it's a predominantly a carbohydrate diet. You eat lots of grains, whole grains, always whole grains, no, no, nothing that you uh, right. uh, find in a box in the middle of the grocery store. Right. Uh, uh, rice, quinoa, millet, uh, rye, things like that. And uh, so if you were to draw the plate and imagine the plate, mm -hmm. it would have like about 50% of the food on that plate, 50 to 60% of the food would be grains. Okay. Another uh, catch, you might catch me on my portions, <laughs> missing yeah. two or three percentage points so much. But, uh, so then the vegetables, let's, let's use the, let's say 60% grains, and the vegetables might be about 20%. Okay. Uh, and then the other 10% might be miso soup. Okay. And then the other 10% might be uh, a condiment, uh, like sauerkraut or something that aids digestion and gives you good bacteria, and uh, protein. And the proteins in general, in most cases, are gonna be in a plant, 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 not animal, plant protein, although some fish is eaten in a macrobiotic okay. diet. It's essentially a vegan diet, no dairy products, uh, but with the exception of some fish. So that's, that's in a nutshell. Uh, what I think that food really affects your, your peace of mind and your energy, uh, and my energy was, got better, you know, my, my stamina. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Plus, also, I think my mind, too. I mean, you, you know, uh, I got calmer, more peaceful. Uh, and part of it was work that I was doing, spiritual work, but, but food is a big part of that. You know, I do. So I did not dismiss the medical community. However, having said that, I'll also say I relied a lot more on myself and my, my concept of God or spirituality or whatever, however you want to define that. I, I relied more on that than the medical community. I believe. I spend a lot of time, a lot of time cooking. 
to be a really to really follow the macrobiotic diet. Uh, in macrobiotics, there's a continuum from a healing diet to a gourmet diet. Gourmet macrobiotic cooking is incredible. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really good. Uh, and uh, and but the the healing diet was very strict. No, you know, no fat. Right. Um, I mean, miso soup for breakfast. Grains for breakfast and, and a vegetable for breakfast every day, you know, a cup yeah. of tea. Uh, and I think I know Chelsea and I are pretty familiar with miso soup. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I know that, but um, a lot of people out there might not exactly know what what's the benefits of miso soup. What's the difference between miso soup, say, and tofu, or miso soup in some other form? Of, um, okay. Soy. Okay. Uh, well, um, uh, miso is a a fermented product okay. and uh, in macrobiotics as well as really again in most cultures mm -hmm. always saw the importance of having a fermented food in their diet because it introduced good bacteria in their okay. diet thus okay. uh, aiding digestion uh, so uh, so miso is a fermented food and uh, and it's just added to soup again there's more to it than that but, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you're not interested in a miso soup dot, um, recipe right now. But anyway, so and so then on the other hand, and it's made. I'm sorry, it's made. It's there's several different types of miso, uh, but the main one is made out of, out of barley okay. and soy. Okay. And uh, and tofu on the other hand is just soy. Gotcha. You know. And, and tofu is not fermented as such. Uh, if you wanted a fermented soy product, and I'm a believer that a fermented soy is really the best way to eat soy, mm -hmm. then you go to... Uh, so, John, do you still follow the macrobiotic lifestyle? Have you, has it evolved into kind of your own, own it's thing now? It's definitely evolved, yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> it, it's definitely uh, my own. And, uh, and uh, I will tell you that that's my philosophy, that we all have an individual way of eating. And how you eat uh, at uh, 24 or whatever, and, and a female is different than I eat uh, at 60. 